It is the fact that in many other nations whom we regard as civilized, among them Sweden, Japan, Norway, have points of view divergent from our own about the termination of unwanted pregnancies. I never thought he'd talk about that. My face, so warm. I wonder if people are looking at me. It's foolish, how could they? So long ago. That morning when I went to Dr. Elston, he told me. Well, Mrs. Collin, I don't think there's much more I can say. Other than this, everything is normal. So don't be afraid. You know, fortunately for the continuity of the human species, this sort of happy accident has happened to millions and millions of women. So don't be frightened. Go home, tell your husband, be happy. Don't forget, come back in six weeks for your next checkup. So that we can make sure everything's going all right. Six weeks? Yes. longer when you walk. What will he say? Oh, Bill, what will you say? Look at the newspapers. It's a world without a future, sitting on a time bomb. Hold it. Hold it, lady. What are you trying to do? Get yourself killed or something? What will Bill say? What'd you say? I'm sorry, I was just talking to myself. You all right? Well... Take it easy and cross with the light. Okay. If I take shorter steps, it'll take longer. This sort of happy accident has happened since the beginning of time. Millions of women. So don't be afraid. Go home. Tell your husband. Be happy. Be happy. Be happy. Oh, Bill. Were we ever happy? this honeymoon. It's very educational and very cheap. It's been a wonderful honeymoon. Duck Bill Intermedius lived in Alberta 50 million years ago. They were smart, these dinosaurs. They quit while they were ahead. Did I tell you about the book the company's printing for the new publishers? It says the human race is doomed in a hundred years. Even if the atom bomb never goes off. Yeah. Because the so-called human race won't stop having kids. They call it the uh, population explosion. At least that thing knew enough to quit when its time on Earth was over. But the book says we go right on multiplying, full of our ego to perpetuate. And in a hundred years, the Earth will be covered over with starving kids like locusts. Well, the facts are facts. You know, I just realized something. What? You never really laugh. In all the times I've known you, you've never laughed once. 
my father lived in misery and he died in pain. And the world he left behind me is still full of misery and pain and more to come. Should I laugh at that? You'll have to wait. Have a seat, honey. Can't wait anymore. Rose, stop that. Everyone's looking. And look, what are they here for? Permanent or something? Rose, for God's sake. Look at her. One thing you gotta learn in a place like this is wait. No matter who you are, you wait. Who's next? We are. Come on. Which one's the patient? I am. She is. Only patients allowed inside. But I go everywhere she goes. How interesting, but not here. Now make up your mind. Just one moment, please. Do you realize I've been waiting one hour, one whole hour? We're running behind schedule. My dear woman, I tell you, I'm not you, doctor. She won't go. Don't be so nervous. Believe me, he's the best. The money he makes. Still cold up? I always say it's worse when it's cold. I don't mind the trouble, you know, when the weather's nice, but when it's cold. Will I have to wait very long? Sometimes he takes them fast, sometimes slow. You never know. So I'm an old customer. Tell me something. How'd you find out about Doc Croton? It's ruled so dirty. Dirty. So where else are you gonna go? Oh. Doc Croton knows his business. Why, he's the best. Is anything wrong? No. She probably got scared and wanted a girlfriend to hold her hand or something, you know. Well, what do you know? Who's next? I guess you are. Uh, no. No, she is. Go on, honey. Go on. Nothing. In, in. Any children before? No. How old are you? I'm 18. Name and phone number of the next of kin? 
Look, sister, it's like any other operation. You gotta have somebody to notify. You better help Betty with that Swedish kid. Give her another high ball if she doesn't settle down. Sure. sent you here. You shy young ladies amaze me. I often wonder how you ever managed to get yourselves in trouble. All right, four simple answers is all I need. Then you can go home and be as retiring as you like. Until the day of your appointment. That'll be a week from Thursday night, sharp in the morning. All right? Couldn't it be any sooner? You don't have to be in such a hurry. You've got plenty of time. A week from Thursday. Now, the four answers. Your name? Oh, no, I see we have that already. All right, your next of kin, who sent you? And the $400. Payable 200 now, 200 on the day of your appointment. Look, young lady, I'm very busy. What is the name of your next of kin? I haven't any. Who recommended you to me? He's our druggist. I think his name is Mr. Stefano. Oh, yes. Now, about the fees. Uh, Stefano told you, didn't he? I didn't know I, I had to have any today. Couldn't I bring it to you on Thursday? Doctor. Now, oh, shut up. Who knows what? Oh, say, um, your husband, he come home already. Yeah, sure. I see him go upstairs about ten minutes ago. Have you been? I've been worried about you. I came home early and nobody here. Nice. I know, I know. Taking one of your long walks again, huh? On a day like this, it's crazy. I'll get dinner. Oh, no. It's miracle time. I got the dinner. Out of the can. But with that speciality a la Bill Conan. Mind if we eat now? I'm hungry. Did you walk far? No. Did you go shopping or something? No. Ah, so, egg drop soup. If I only had an egg. Come on, we'll eat and watch television like the civilized folk do. Come on. Hey. Come on. You got yourself overtired, didn't you? What are we gonna do over the weekend, honey? Your, uh... Your sister's coming over tomorrow. Oh. She's gonna phone in the morning. What's with this relative bit every weekend? If it's not mine, it's yours. How do we get into that kind of a birdcage anyway? 
They can kid about the old movies on TV, but I tell you, I know every piece of dialogue that comes out of my sister Jenny and your brother Al and, and your uncle and all the rest of them. Look, why don't we take off tomorrow on Sunday and, and go someplace, any place, no relatives, or the TV dinners. No, I'll get it, honey. Yeah, we could go to the roller coaster. The one I almost took you on on our second date, remember? Sure. There are a million things we could do outside these four walls. Away from the television and the relatives and, and the birdcage. Okay? We can't. What do you mean, we can't? All we have to do is lock the door. What is it? Feel well, Peg? Feel up. I want it. I want it. I, I don't want to lose it. I don't want to give it up. Oh, Phil, I, I won't keep the appointment. I won't. What, a, what appointment? What are you talking about? <laughs> Baby. Oh, please, Bill, I want it. Baby. Baby. Are you sure? This form may turn into a free-for-all yet. Yes. 